Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bio and Photips. Today, we have an exciting tutorial lined up for you. We'll be diving into the world of statistics and learning how to perform analysis of variance or ANOV a using the powerful statistical software SPSS. We'll start with a brief introduction to ANOV, a explaining what it is and when to use it. Next, I'll guide you through the process of setting up your data in SPSS. We'll then perform a one-way ANOV AL, our primary example. Finally, we'll interpret the results and draw meaningful conclusions from our analysis. Before we jump into SPS, let's quickly understand what an NOVA is. ANOVA is a statistical method used to analyze the differences between two or more groups or treatments. It helps us determine whether there are statistically significant differences in means among the groups. Let's begin by opening SPSS and loading our data set. The first thing we need to do is check the normality of our data to make sure we can perform ANOVA. We gave to go to explore and then select our dependent and independent variables while checking the normality tests and histogram boxes. The normality tests show that the three different groups are all normally distributed. We can now perform one watt ANOVA. Go to an allies and then compare means and proportions. There select one way ANOVA. In the dialog box, also select these different post hoc and tests so that the ANOV, a table, is displayed. Keep in mind that you may need to use different post hoc tests. We now have our ANOV, a table, where we can conclude that group one is statistically different than group three, while group two is also statistically different than group three. And there you have it. You've just learned how to perform ANOV a using SPSS. This statistical technique can be incredibly powerful for various research applications. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to try it out on your own data sets. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more in-depth tutorials, and don't forget to share this video with your fellow researchers and students. 